Hey guys, what's happening? It's Nate and Scott with PlayerCourt.com. Today we're going to show you the best grips for a beginner's backhand, and this video is for Player Court members with a rating of 60 and below. That's right, guys, and if you're not in the community, make sure and try it for free. All right, so you've picked up the game of tennis and you have found that hitting the ball off your non-dominant side, your backhand, is extremely difficult. And whether you've decided a two-hander or a one-hander, the grips are gonna make a world of difference on the success of your backhand. So that's what we're showing you today are the acceptable grips and the best grips for the one-hander and two-handed backhand. All right, guys, so the grip on a two-handed backhand is oftentimes what throws rec players off. So let's cover this in detail. I first wanna talk about the bottom hand, and I want to address something. The top hand of your two-handed backhand really should be doing almost all of the work. So while the bottom grip is important, there is a little bit of margin for error. We'd like you to use a continental, which is where you've got the base knuckle on your index finger on bevel two. Or if it shifts to an Eastern, where you're just dead center on bevel one, even with your frame, that's okay. And again, the reason here is when you pull your racket back, whatever your bottom hand turns to naturally is almost always going to be one of these two grips. Again, the Eastern on top with your base knuckle, even with the frame, or the Continental one bevel over. So that's what we're looking for on the bottom hand. And honestly, this should happen pretty naturally when you just rotate your racket back, but it's worth looking down at your hands and just making sure this is happening. So let's talk about the top hand. And as we just mentioned, the top hand is doing all the swinging. So this is super important that our grip is correct. And there's two variations, two options here that you have to choose from. If you're like me and you prefer to hit more of a flat driving backhand most of the time and you're more geared towards power over net clearance or topspin, then you might want to use an Eastern backhand grip. And what this looks like is just imagine we're, we're coaching you to hit a left-handed forehand in this situation. This is what your eastern forehand would like. The bevel, base bevel on your index knuckle. If I turn to the camera here, the base bevel on your index knuckle and your heel pad are going to go flush. Flush on the back of your racket, even with your strings. What this does, as you can see, it provides a lot of stability behind the racket and it allows me to drive through the ball, generating a more flat backhand. If you prefer to hit loopier or you want more topspin on your backhand, another option is to shift to a semi-western. So we're eastern here, again, where we're flush with the strings. If we take that same index knuckle in our heel pad and we shift one bevel underneath the racket, you would see a semi-western forehand grip with my left hand. This is the other option. This is gonna allow us to generate a lot more top spin and clearance underneath that ball. I know it's confusing, so hopefully guys, if this is helpful, smash that like button below. And also, we're gonna ask you to do this in every single video. Press subscribe. If you're not subscribed to our channel already, it really does help our business grow. So do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel down below. All right, so now we're talking about the backhand grips for the one-handed backhand. And, and so maybe you've decided that the two-handed backhand is a little bit too cumbersome and you've elected to use the one-hander. So the one-hander, what's happening is a lot of times when we pick up the game, we immediately start with a continental grip, all right? And so if you're trying to use this on a backhand, it may feel good on a forehand, but if you're using it on the backhand, you're not gonna have the strength of the, the hand behind the racket and the wrist support. So what we want to do here is instead of staying continental, we want to move to Eastern. And what you're looking at on an Eastern backhand 
If you're looking at the bevels, the top bevel where you can read Wilson on the top of my frame, I'm taking my index knuckle and I'm putting it on bevel one. Now my heel pad is also gonna be on bevel one. So what you can see here is that this gives me a ton of support with the hand back behind the racket. So as I'm swinging, it's allowing the hand to stay behind the racket longer. And it also gives me the ability to get a whole lot more spin because the racket face is slightly closed so that it works on a plane much better low to high. Now there is an extreme Eastern grip, which is basically a semi-Western forehand. This is what we see with Stan Wawrinka. Essentially, I'm holding a semi-Western forehand and this translates over to the backhand as well. I don't recommend it for beginners, but if you're, you're curious and you've seen it, it's simply a semi-Western forehand. It's really good for high balls, but not fantastic on low balls. So not necessarily the right choice for the beginner level player. I would stick with the Eastern, the full Eastern backhand grip for that one-handed backhand. We'll get back to the coaching in just a second, but first, we really appreciate you watching our channel. And as a thank you, we want to give you our six-part backhand mastery video course for free. This course will turn a weak backhand into a weapon, and we normally sell it for 100 bucks. but if you stick around till the end of this video, we'll give it to you for free. All right, let's get back to the coaching. All right, everyone, really hope uh, this helped you with establishing the grips, especially starting out. The game can be so confusing, but if you have a two-handed backhand, let's really work on that continental bottom grip, the eastern or the semi-western on the top grip. And with the one-hander, we're gonna keep it simple and just focus on that full eastern. But get out there and practice them. It's gonna be personal preference, but as they say, perfect practice makes perfect. Is that what they say? They say that, yeah. yeah all right. Somebody said that. Very what? cool. Also, guys, as always, we're going to hook you up down in the comments section below. If you're not in the community, you're going to see a link there to try it out for free. So definitely check that out. And our backhand mastery course for free is down there as well. So check those things out. We appreciate you guys watching the channel. So enjoy those gifts from us, and we'll see you guys soon. See ya.